In this video, I'm going to go over the abort function in C. So the abort function allows us to terminate the execution of our program. But the way it works is going to be a bit different than using the exit function, or if our program is terminated by a return statement in the main function. So let's go over an example. The first thing I'll do is include stdlib.h, because this is the library where the abort function is defined. We'll have our program do a little bit of work here. We'll just printf hello world to the terminal. And then we'll call abort here. And that's how you call abort, just like that with no arguments. So if we save this here, and then we do a compilation, and then we run it, we get this. Hello world, and then this abort trap six here. So this is different than what we get if we were to exit with the return statement here. Let's comment out abort for a second here to test that. We'll save this here. We'll do a compilation again, and then we'll run it. And we just get hello world here. So something different is happening. We're gonna notice the same thing if we were to use exit. So if I said exit zero here, it'll be the same. We're not gonna get that abort trap six. So what's going on? What's different about abort? So abort is gonna do a hard exit of our program. It's gonna do an immediate exit of our program. It's actually gonna dump the core. Dumping the core is gonna give this snapshot this image of memory at the time of the abort, and it's gonna save it on disk. So that way we can look at it to help debug what went wrong in our program. Now, because abort does this hard swift exit from our program, it's not gonna do some of the regular things that are done when our program exits. So for example, one of the things we can do is we can set up functions to run when our program exits using the at exit function. Let's go over an example of that. Here I could say void cleanup, and we'll make a very basic function that's gonna run when our program exits. And the function will just printf doing cleanup, and that's it. We can actually set this function to run when our program exits by saying at exit cleanup. And this at exit function we'll set the cleanup function to run when our program exits. Now this is gonna work if our program exits with the exit function or with a return statement in main. So we could save this here now, and if we do a recompilation and then we run it, we're gonna find that we get hello world and then doing cleanup. And that's because here we exited using the exit function. If I take this out, we're gonna exit using the return statement and we'll get the same behavior where we're gonna get hello world and then doing cleanup. But if we do an exit using abort, then the cleanup function is actually not gonna execute. We can save this, compile it and run it to see. We're just gonna get hello world and then abort trap six. And that's another important difference between using exit or using abort. It's that abort is gonna not actually run the functions that have been set to run by at exit. And depending on the implementation of C, abort might not close files that are open it might not delete temporary files, and it might not flush the stream buffer. Abort is the most extreme way to terminate the execution of our program. We would use abort when something has gone so wrong with our program's execution that we need a core dump to analyze it, or when our program might be in such a corrupt state that it's not even safe to do any more work at all, like running the functions that are assigned to run on program exit by the at exit function. So unless we absolutely need to use abort, we should use exit instead. But this is how you can use the abort function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.